And now let's have our next team of challenges, please. What is your name, please? My name is Pat Rizzuto. What is your name, please? My name is Pat Rizzuto. What is your name, please? My name is Pat Rizzuto. And two of these people are imposters. <laughs> only one of them is the real Pat Rizzuto and is the only one sworn to tell the truth. So here, panel, we have our second problem for the evening. These three people all claim to be Pat Rizzuto. And as you know, only the real Pat Rizzuto is sworn to tell the truth. Now, if you'll open the other affidavit in front of you and follow along while I read it, we'll find out more about this Pat Rizzuto. My name is Pat Rizzuto, and I live in Hillside, New Jersey, with my parents, two sisters, and a brother. I am a patrol leader in my scout troop, and as a hobby, I collect autographed pictures of baseball players. One of the red-letter dates of my life was the night I had dinner with Ed Sullivan. At this time of year, I spend most of my free time ice skating. But in the summer, I play baseball with the neighborhood team. My favorite position is shortstop, which is not surprising, since my father played that position with the New York Yankees for 16 years. His name is Phil Rizzuto. I swear that the above statement is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Signed, Pat Rizzuto. Right, here we go again now. Time to play our game, and these three people, as you know, panel, all claim to be Pat Rizzuto, whose father played short top stop for the New York Yankees. Now, remember, only the real Pat Rizzuto is required to answer your questions truthfully. Again, you will answer each time in succession until the, the bell rings, and you will continue for five minutes, at the end of which time you will be asked to cast your ballot for the one who, in your opinion, is the real Pat Rizzuto. And this time, let's begin our questioning with John Cameron Swayze. John? Number two. What's your father's nickname? Scooter. Did he ever play with Kansas City? No. Number one, did your father ever play with Kansas City? Yes, he did. What's, what profession is he taking up now that he's leaving baseball? Well, he has two, really. He's going to be an uh, announcer this year, and also uh, when the baseball season isn't in session, he's go going to run the American clothes shop. He, he's Over a salesman. In, in what town? Newark. Um, did you ever go to spring training with him? Yes, sir. When you play baseball, who pitches on your team? Uh, Where do you play? Tell me that. Oh, I play up in school. Tell me how your father started in baseball. You must know the story. Well, he was uh, turned down by two New York clubs, Giants and Dodgers, and the Yankees signed him up. Lead <laughs> <laughs> away there, Hildy Park. Uh, number three, could you uh, repeat for me the Boy Scout oath? Well, because um, <clears throat> on my honor, I will do my best to do my duty to God and my country, and to keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. Number uh, two, really what are the uh, Girl Scout laws? Give me five of them. A Girl Scout is thrifty. A Girl Scout is clean in word, thought, and deed. A Girl Scout is kind to animals. A Girl Scout is helpful. A Girl Scout is a friend to all. Thank you. Uh, number one, how did you... There he goes. <laughs> there he goes again. I'm sorry, Hildy. Dick Van Dyke. <clears throat> you all three look like your father. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Number one, uh, Bud said your father was with uh, the Yankees for about 16 years, I believe. How many of those years did he actually play ball? Well, he was in the service three years, for, from 43 to 45. <laughs> and then he, he came out, so that makes 13 years of ball playing. That's right. Um, let me ask number three there. It says you're a patrol leader in the scouts. Yes, sir. You can't be a patrol leader if you're a tenderfoot. No. What do you have to be I'm at least? a first class scout or above. A first, cla cas first class scout. <laughs> uh, what are you now? I'm first class scout. You're a first class scout. How long have you been a patrol leader? Ollie? Uh, uh, number two, uh, who is the founder of the Girl Scouts? Juliet Lowe. Uh, where is the international headquarters for the Girl Scouts? <laughs> <laughs> number three, do you know where the international headquarters are for the Boy Scouts? <laughs> well, no, I don't know that either. Number one, do you know? No, I don't know. Doesn't really matter. I don't happen to know either. I just want to be... Told me I might trick somebody. If they'd have given me an answer, I would have been stuck. Uh, number two, um, how did you happen to have dinner with Ed Sullivan? 
Well, we, we had dinner at the restaurant where Guy Lombardo does his television show, and Ed Sullivan was supposed to appear on the show the same night my father was, and we had dinner at the same table. I see. And um, John Cameron's wait. Number three, what was the first uh, ball team your father was with? Uh, well, he was at Kansas City Minor League Club. And then he went to the Yankees? Uh, well, before after he was turned down by uh, the Giants and uh, Dodgers. Wound up in the Yankees? Yes. What's the name of the clothing store where he works or manages? American Clothing Store, sir. Do you know his batting average? Uh, his last year? Uh, well, his last year was about 353. 253, Mr. 253, excuse me, sir. Bat right or left? Right. Is he one of the first ones that started wearing the protected cap? Yes, sir. Where do you play neighborhood baseball? Well, there's a park right near our home. It's uh, one of the uh, community parks, and they have a diamond there just for that. Hildy Park. Number one, what are your two sisters' names? Cindy and Penny. And your brother? Herb. How old are your sisters? My sister, one is 13, one is 10, and my little brother's two. Oh, I got that one for nothing, didn't I? <laughs> uh, you're an ice skater. What kind of skates do you use? Hockey skates. Did you start off on hockey skates? Yes, I did. Have you ever done much speed skating? Well, that's what hockey skates are for. Oh, well, that there. shows where I am. All right, cross-examiners, time to separate fact from fiction once again. What'd you do, miss one you wanted to ask? No, it's figures. <laughs> Please skating. mark your ballots, if you will. And again, here's a final look at our team of challengers for our good friends at home so that you can make up your minds whether you think the real Pat Rizzuto is number one, number two, or number three. Now may I have the ballots, please? Just a minute. I don't know anything about baseball. <laughs> I don't even know what he looks like. I'm gonna switch. You're gonna switch? Who are you yeah, voting switch. for, John? I'm a switch hitter. You're not gonna <laughs> tell, all right. Uh, I'll hurry, I'll hurry, uh, there. All right. <clears throat> Now again, there were four votes cast as before, one for each member of our panel. And our challengers will get $250 for every incorrect vote. If nobody guesses the right one, you have a total of $1,000 that you can divide up. So get set now and see how our panel voted. This is Polly Bergen's ballot. She votes for number one. John Cameron Swayze marked his ballot for number one. Hildy Parks believes it to be Number one, Dick Van Dyke has marked as his choice number two. So now let's take a look here and see how the voting went down. For number one, there were three votes. For number two, there was one vote. For number three, there were no votes. <clears throat> Panel, are you ready? It has to be number three. It has to be number three? <laughs> it has to be number three. <laughs> Just because it figures from past percentages. All right, now, before we meet, the real Pat Rizzuto. Let's meet the real Phil Rizzuto. Oh. <laughs> now, Phil, Phil, will you come down and claim your own offspring, please? <clears throat> yeah. Has to do. Has to do. I knew that face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, daughter. Hi, son. Hi. I knew that. This is her. <laughs> I knew that. Look, there's a lot over here, Phil. What do you want? Polly first and then Dick. Uh, why did you say your father didn't play for Kansas City? <laughs> I forgot about it. Such <laughs> <laughs> yeah. a tanning you get. She, in the eyes, you know, she looked oh, like the pictures I've seen. Well, you remember of, her. You just can't miss it. How about you, Dick? What you want? That's the same thing. She <laughs> forgot same her question. Oh, are you going to get it when you get it? <laughs> <laughs> well, no. Phil, I have a question for you, though, okay. because, you know, an awful lot of people, including myself, are pretty saddened when you broke your connections with the Yankees, but now I understand it's all been cemented again. You're going to work for them. What are you going to yes. do? Yes, yeah, I'm going to be broadcasting with Mel Allen and Red Barber, but between you and I, but I'd like to be out of shortstop next year. Oh, I'll bet you will. <laughs> That's going to be kind of rough. Well, good luck to you, boy. I hope it means the start of a whole new wonderful career, just as your last one has been. Let's find out about the other two now. Young man, number one, who are you, really? Well, my real name is John Lahr, and my father's name is Bert Lahr. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and now, number three, who really are you? Well, you ought to know, sir. <clears throat> my name is Mike Collier, and you're my father. <laughs> So fast, 
fast. I don't even have the, the chance to stand here and say, that's my boy. But <laughs> well, you did a great job because you saw what happened. There was only one correct, three incorrect means $750 gets whacked up between you three youngsters. <laughs> Good luck to you. God bless you and thanks for being with you. Phil, God bless you. Turn to our panel and just...